So recall previously that we've talked about SDL events and how to handle keyboard events, namely the key down event here. Something related to this though that folks might also use in order to capture keyboard events is this STL keyboard event. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at how we can also get the state of the keys on our keyboard. So what we can actually do is look at all of our scan codes on our keyboard. That is our keyboards laid out in a particular manner uh, with the physical layout and get the scan keys. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is look at this keyboard event layout and there's a nice related function called get keyboard state. And this is what we're going to care about here. Now you'll notice that this page is a work in progress, but I'm gonna help guide you through how to actually use this. So the idea is, again, as you're getting events off of the event queue, when we're doing our sort of event-driven programming and pulling different events that occur, is we can retrieve what the keyboard state's gonna be and look for specific keys that are being pressed down. So let's go ahead and take a look at this in the code. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is open up our program where we've created a window, initialized the video subsystem, and we have some loop here. And at this point, you can notice that I'm just checking for different event types, like the key down, and then looking for specific key symbols that might be placed. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and instead handle the keyboard state by retrieving the state of all of our scan codes that are being pressed and then just checking which ones are one or zero, essentially. So let's go ahead and um, actually, I can leave this in. I can mix modalities if I want, just to show you that both are working. So let's go ahead and um, do that. I'm going to go ahead and create this uh, state here, uh, just as the example is doing. And we're going to retrieve the keyboard state. So get keyboard state. By default, uh, no parameters are passed. And then we're going to check. So what this is essentially doing is it's returning an array here with uh, up to 255 keys. And we have that array that's going to, every time through this loop, return a pointer that tells us the state of this array of if a key is up or down or whatever the uh, state is going to be. So if the state of, and we can retrieve particular scan codes. So SDL, I'm gonna follow uh, the ones here scan code right is being pressed. Let's just print that out. So right arrow key is pressed. And you'll notice in the example here, this is how we would test for if two keys are being pressed simultaneously. But let's just start with one for now in this example. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's try to uh, recompile our program. It works. And if we run it here, I'll bring our window here. And we still have our old functionality where we could press the zero key, but now I'm gonna actually press the right arrow key a few times so that you can see that it was detected. And in fact, you can see that it's still capturing our other events here from where we are detecting just is any key down and is it zero or not zero. But here specifically, we're just detecting, well, was the right arrow key pressed here? So this can be another useful way to detect key presses and again, if you want to see where these scan codes are, you'll have to look at the SDL scan codes here. And I found the SDL scan code right here. I'm just going to search for it here. SDL scan code right. Uh, but there might be other ones you want, like spacebar or particular um, characters or numbers or so on. So again, keep that in mind. And also to keep in mind is the difference between the scan code and uh, at the top the key code value. All right, so hopefully that gives you enough to play with when detecting keyboard events.